Hi guys, it's Mildred here and today I'll be doing the player ratings for the very disappointing slash you could say undeserved loss against Hull City yesterday. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we'll start off with the goalkeeper long and at the time I didn't think the goal was full at all but I've seen a few people online saying that Long didn't extend his body properly. For example, Lion TV and if you look at this screenshot I took of Long while the ball was going in, you can kind of see what he's on about so I'll give Long a 4.5 out of 10. For Cooper and Hutchinson, they didn't do much wrong. During the game, to be fair, I don't think the goal was really their fault, so I'll just give them both fives. Now for the fullbacks, we'll start off with Mario Lucino, and surprise, surprise, I thought he was quite shit again yesterday. I think it is time to get Scott Malone back into the team. Yes, Malone can't defend, but he can attack, and at the moment, Mario Lucino can't defend or attack, so yeah, I'll give Mario Wallace a 4 out of 10. For Danny, of course, he missed that big chance in the first half, but obviously, he's not known for his shooting ability, so I'll give Danny a 5 out of 10. Now for the two central midfielders, we'll start off with Savile and I thought it was okay, but could he have done better for their goal? Maybe, so I'll give him a 5.5 out of 10, but obviously lately he has been amazing, so you can't be too harsh on him. For Billy, of course, it was nice to see him starting again, and it was also nice to see him having a few pops at goal, so I'll give him a 6 out of 10, and now I'll move on to the wingers. For Heidemann, to be fair, I didn't even realise he played yesterday. He was quite non-existent, so I'll give him a 5 out of 10. For Burke, I thought he was really unlucky not to score yesterday. He was probably the best out of a bad bunch. So I'll give Burke a 6.5 out of 10. And now I'll move on to the two main men. We'll start off with Fleming. And of course, he was the one who set up Burke when he smacked the bar. And I can remember him having a shot in the second half from 25 yards out, which forced the keeper to make a good save. So he tried to make things happen. So I'll give him a 6.5 out of 10. For Bradders, I thought, like Heineman, he was quite non-existent. So I'll give Bradders a 5 out of 10. For the subs, we'll start off with Malone, and he didn't really make an impact, so I'll give him a 5 out of 10. For SA Vogue and what more, I'll give them all 7s, because they come on, they made an impact, and I guess that's what you're asked to do when you come on. So, yeah, I'll give them all 7s. I remember Vogue was really close to scoring a few times in added time, and also SA was last minute as well. So, yeah, I'll give them all 7s, and now I'll move on to the overall rating. Finally, for the overall team rating, I'll give us a 6 out of 10. I definitely wouldn't say... We deserve to win the match, but I definitely wouldn't say we deserve to lose the match. In my opinion, with the chances we had, we should have at least got a point. So now we move on to Preston on Saturday. And of course, we're sitting on the same points as Preston. So in my opinion, it's a definition of a must-win game. Come, you Lions. Oh!